The United States economy is controlled by two separate policies, the first of which is fiscal policy, which is the use of tax collected funds as government revenue and the spending of those tax collected dollars in order to influence the economy. The second is monetary policy, which is the process by which the Federal Reserve Bank, also known as the central bank, controls the supply of money and the availability money, as well as the cost of money in order to maintain economic growth and sustainability. This lecture only focuses on monetary policy. I'm going to give you two visualizations. The first of which is a sound mixing board with four knobs on it. The Federal Reserve uses this mixing board in order to control four knobs that control the economy. The Federal Reserve's job is to monitor the economy by balancing a steady rate of unemployment with a steady rate of inflation, all while promoting steady economic growth. Too much unemployment or high inflation changes the soundness of the economy to a level that is dangerous and unacceptable. By adjusting the four knobs on the mixing board, the Fed attempts to maintain economic soundness. The four mixing board knobs are 1. The Federal Open Market Committee Operations 2. The Discount Rate 3. The Federal Funds Rate and 4. The Reserve Requirements The second visualization that I would like for you to have is a lotto ball machine. Picture a big dome which is representative of the entire economy and the little balls that are floating around inside. Those little balls represent money in the system. By adjusting knob number one, the Federal Reserve uses open market committee operations to buy bonds which increases the money supply or sell bonds which decreases the money supply. By increasing the money supply, the Federal Reserve is increasing liquidity, but they are reducing the value of the money, creating potential inflation. By reducing the money supply, it's creating a stronger dollar. The second and third knobs on the economic mixing board of soundness are the discount rate and the federal funds rate. For the purposes of economics four, we're going to mix these two and just call them both interest rates. The definition of interest rates is the cost of money. If you put money into a bank, they pay you interest. If you take a loan out, you have to pay them interest. So the interest rate is the cost of getting a loan. If they reduce the interest rate, this stimulates economic activity. If they increase interest rates, this slows economic activity. By controlling knobs two and three, the Fed attempts to control the flow of funds within the system just as the balls flow in the lotto ball machine from one transaction to another transaction from one pocket to another pocket from one checking account to another person's checking account this is what's called the velocity of money the faster the money flows around in the system the more transactions take place theoretically during these times of economic expansion unemployment is low and inflation tends to increase the Federal Reserve may elect to get involved and increase interest rates in order to slow economic activity and avoid economic collapse. The fourth and final knob available to the Federal Reserve is the reserve requirement. The Federal Reserve requires each bank to hold a certain percentage of each deposit in a reserve account. The remaining funds can be loaned out. These reserves are in the system but they are held from circulation, as illustrated in this lotto ball machine. If the Federal Reserve were to decrease the percentage required by banks to hold in reserves, this would in essence place more money in circulation, creating more liquidity in the system. And these are the four ways the Federal Reserve attempt to control the soundness of the U.S. economy. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.